That's when the cinnamon toast crunch kicks in. <laughs> it's hitting hard. <laughs> it's hitting me hard. <laughs> You're sleeping. <laughs> my guy is my guy is out up there. He had four boxes of cinnamon toast crunch, <laughs> two and a half gallons of milk. <laughs> Actually, the, the he, caffeine uh, hasn't kicked in yet. Oh, it hasn't even been taken down yet. So, <laughs> that would be a good upstart. Yeah, like, yeah I, was, I was like fucking wondering what happened. I'm going to unflavor shit. All right, so because today I'm doing Sam's protocol, I gotta do Sam's. I didn't do Sam's pre because I wanted hostility. We got anyway here. Normally I do the intro R3 because the intro intro R3 is enough carbs. It's 20 grams of carbs, which is plenty for me. But if I was in Sam's shoes and I was bulking, I would do the intro R3 plus more carbs, and that's where the CDX would come into play. Or like Sam likes to do, he does a silo in the CDX. So I'll let you explain, Sam, what you're doing. So basic logic: carbs in the CDX. And then, honestly, I mean, I like the amino acids, but I'm really just kind of throwing this in for the uh, electrolytes, you know, pretty much. That's one thing I'm always hyping up. Like, if you've got exertion headaches. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to one guy, and he said he had a dying headache. I asked him how much water he had. Yep. None. Yep. How many electrolytes? Nothing. Yeah. Like, the only time I've ever had a headache was, like, for one thing, I was dehydrated. Dehydrated. But then also, no electrolytes. Maybe you had a headache while you're training? Oh, yeah. Well, even, even in general. In general. In general. Yeah. 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 Like, I can't even remember the last time I had one. Yeah. yeah. So people don't know this, but the silo is a hydration matrix plus EAA. So that's kind of what he's explaining. But the intra R3 has that same hydration matrix. It has the EAAs and it also has the Pico2, which just gives me a little bit of a boost in uh, endurance. So that's why I go for the intra R3. Sam doesn't need it. He just wants the EAAs and the electrolytes. That's good enough. So. Uh, that's why we come up with different products because everybody has kind of a different, little bit different way of doing things. But today I'm going to do what Sam's doing. So, how many scoops of silo? One or two? Uh, Is there a scoop in there? It's got. It's in the bottom. Grab a scoop from the other one. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. How many scoops of EAAs did you do? Uh, just one. Okay. And I was going to do 50 grams worth of that, but I forget how much. Two scoops. Two scoops. Yeah. You know, we need a hostile funnel. It's coming. Oh, yeah. It's coming. All right, that's legit. I'm on top of it, Sam. Don't worry. Everything this year is going to be the... You came along at the right time, so we got all new shit coming up. If I can do the other hand. He doesn't need to. He's got a big mouth chunk. I've never done the yeah. hand funnel. I've done that. Oh, my God. You're not hardcore until you've done a, pa a paper funnel. I've done the paper funnel before. Okay. I thought you were really doing 50 grams. Well, was, uh, each scoop was oh, a whole half. scoop. Okay, yeah. Just so I could actually pour it in without spilling it all. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Sam, you always train with about 50 grams of carbs. Intro? Yeah. In a, I mean, if I'm trying to gain weight, I mean, that's 200 calories right there. You know, I definitely think there's maybe a marginal energy strength increase. But, you know, if I was trying to, if I was trying to diet down, I mean, this would be zero calories. You know, I don't love drinking my calories if I'm trying to lose weight. I'd rather eat 50 grams of rice for the workout. Would you say, honestly, would you say you feel like you get an extra pump though when you have the added sugars? Yeah, I would say that. Just from being full. Yeah, more endurance probably too. Yeah, makes sense. It's I'm, kinda, it, well, it's kind of hard to gauge the difference. I feel the endurance when I have the extra Pico 2, but when, I, it, when I'm just doing CDX, I definitely feel more of a swole feeling when I'm training. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to see what happens when I switch to doing less of it to none when I start trying to trim down. Oh, you'll feel it. Because I'm sure I've been, now that's, I've been exposed to just constant. You know, that's right. one of the hardest things about dieting is like that first, you've dieted before. Yeah. That first couple weeks, man, is the That's bitch. when you're the softest, but you're also the smallest. Well, it's also when you're like, I mean, it depends how you diet. If you keep doing exactly what you're doing, but just trim everything down slowly, then you don't notice it as much. But if you go from eating like, cereal and fucking all that to eating like chicken rice you're at i noticed it like that yeah. right away i'm like oh, i'll feel that like super swole fucking feeling like that. then your body's got to get used to that again so it probably takes a couple weeks to train yeah that's what i'm saying like, it takes a couple weeks yeah 
and your then body you, adapts. Yeah, and then you start. I don't know if it's because your body adapts or maybe you just get used to it. Yeah. But like, I definitely feel a difference when I'm eating shittier food with like lots of sodium and lots of fucking carbs, versus like cleaner food with like less sodium and less yeah. fucking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could feel a difference, right? About. I think that's why I keep eating shit. Do you like a swamp? Because I like the swamp. It's like <laughs> more food training. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then inflammatory response. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to work. All right. We got right into it. Are we walking anything first? No, man. So All right. Oh, can delay this shit long enough. We All right. Oh, 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 fuck. Paul. What do you think of this kid so far? Sam or Fuad? Who's Sam? Sam, I love Sam. I love Sam. That Fuad kid, though, I don't know about him yet. We'll see what we can do with that. I'm not sure love But Sam's right on. I don't know why. I don't know why I keep this old man around. <laughs> so you're you're putting up the training. You have anything? You, you have any check. special stuff? You're, you're you gonna have to be showing. Oh, yeah, you know me. I'd be you fucking. You mug his head. I'd be so ego <laughs> and I be ego fucking. <laughs> just a fucking. Runaway train without you. I probably feel good about myself for once. You probably have some self esteem. Yeah, I probably have some. <laughs> a little bit. It's healthy not to have any self esteem. Or for me yeah. at least to have it broken down once in a while. I don't know why you're here. Uh, what did you say to me? I said, what are you, are you putting him through anything special today or what? No, I think we're probably just going to do a little bit more volume than he's used to. And maybe some intensity techniques. I don't know that he does or doesn't do. So. We'll feel it out, see how it goes. I mostly just wanna, I mostly just wanna see what his form looks like and see if I can give him some tips here. Look, I don't wanna change anything Sam's doing, man. He's mm -hmm. fucking, I think he's fucking great. I think he's smart, I think he knows what he's doing. Shh, he's coming. Shh. <laughs> he said, what are we gonna do that's special? And I said, nothing, we might do a little more volume than normal and might tweak some things here and there and see if you like it better or worse. Yeah, I don't have to think about anything. <laughs> so we're just starting out with rear delt, the real delt, uh, reverse pec deck for rear delt. Sam said it's something he likes to start with as well, so it's not anything new to him. He does it more because he wants his side delts and rear delts to be super pumped by the end of the workout. I do it more because I feel like it's functionally smarter to start with your rear delts because number one, it's not a heavy, heavy movement. Number two, it's gonna get the shoulder joint warmed up and you're going to get you ready for any type of pressing you're going to do or any type of heavy laterals. So I feel like the rear delt machine is a good way to get just the whole shoulder warm and the blood flowing. And then we'll probably do another rear delt exercise before we're done. Because everybody, I think Sam touched on this in previous uh, videos, everyone's got good front delts because of all the milk, all the bench pressing and all the fucking dumbbell pressing and all the military pressing. Most guys are lacking rear delts. So usually we do two rear delt exercises in a shoulder workout to doubly emphasize that area of the shoulder. Good. Good. Five, come on. Six, good, come on. Come on. Come on. So we're gonna do Sam is basically too strong for the fucking machine. So instead of him doing another 20 rep set, we're gonna add a little bit of resistance on the negative. So he's gonna come out 
and I'm going to give him about 30% of a push on the way back, and he's going to give me a little bit of resistance. That's going to build the tension in the rear belt. So instead of doing 20 reps, he burns out at 10 or 10 or 12, and he gets more out of the set. When you get to the very back, I want you to tilt your elbows this way. Give me a little bit of resistance. That's it, just like that. All the way through, slice, 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 pull. Slice, 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 pull. Good. Resist, resist, pull. Resist, resist, pull. That's it, keep going like that. A little bit more resistance. That's it, just like that. Go. Go. Good. Come on. Go. A little bit more resistance. Go. Go. That's it, good. That's the way to do it. How'd that feel, Solo? That's sweet. It was way better than just doing the stack. That's like, typically when I've got somebody helping me on a set, the reps are assisted. You know, they're not added difficult. <laughs> so, that's a good way to take it up. <laughs> so yeah, don't just, you don't just end the set when you can get all the way far back. Yeah, I'm always free to do those little parcels at the end. No, because people think people think that if you're doing the rep wrong, then it doesn't fucking count. They don't understand that it doesn't work that way. You're still getting you're still the fiber is still being stimulated, even if it's half a rep or four a rep. All right, so we moved them the reverse pec deck to a dumbbell side lateral. Obviously, like the name is side lateral, we're working the side delt, medial delt, whatever you want to call it. And uh, if you guys are wondering why we haven't pressed yet, Sam specifically said he wanted to work on pressing less the shoulder workout, but even when I'm doing this by myself, me and Paul will press like third in the workout. We get more out of less weight that way. It's very, very different pressing when your shoulder's already fucking pumped. Let's go. So I said to Sam, what are people talking about? Your form's fucking great. And he said, depends on the movement. And this is what I think people need to understand is training is not one fucking way. If you, if you have a good training style, you train with instinct, there's some shit you're gonna do low reps, there's some shit you're gonna do high reps. There's some days you're gonna come in and do low volume, there's some days you're gonna come in and do high volume. There's some shit you're gonna toss around for the fuck of it, and there's some shit you're gonna be perfect on. Most of the guys I know that are fucking jacked and are, are really good, have a little bit of everything in their training. It's not just one way. So Sam has figured out at a fucking young age that there are times to be perfect and there are times to be loose. It's important. Come on. 
Sure, I've held the 50s and had to feel that heavy. Come on, here. Come on, here. Come on, here. Come on, here. Come on, Come on, here. 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 Come but I mean, I haven't done it. I haven't done an overhead press for God, like turn that voice. Really? What are you doing today? Hey, good. Why? Yeah, I feel like I didn't have front delt work just from doing it. Yeah, but you don't feel like you're, you're building like the overall shoulder? Because um, I don't think pressing is just front delt. Well, I'd say primarily. I know it's, I know it's more front delt. Like, I see what you're saying. Like, even if you're doing side delts, uh, like a lot of raises, you get some rear delt activation. Right. So, I see what but yeah, I'm going to put some on Down, I want you to stop at your chin and then press them down. Press them down. Pause, press, down, pause. Press, good, make sure you pause, don't let it travel. Stop, go, that's it. Stop, go, good, that's it. Yeah, that'll be good. Head around, awkward. Good, either you're building one or you're building one. I mean, obviously, you can see what these three reps are on. Sign off, go, go, go. Good. Perfect, just like that, man, that's it. Good. Yeah. Make sure you stop the bottom. Good. You don't have to stop at the top. This is the bar. Good. Stop. Stop. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely good. That's the part of our afternoon. It always catches you. Yeah. How's your foot shoulders feeling? Oh, I feel good. I don't think I've been this pumped this quick. I definitely think doing that pyramid set really burned me out. Mm -hmm. You know what, whatever's comfortable for you, but if you can, yeah. Stop, press. Up and down, and stop. Up and down. Come on. Dead stop, dead stop, push. One more, one more, dead stop. Push. Down, down, down. 
Up. Oh, come on, let's go. You too. Come on, you got him. Come on, you're strong. Let's go. Up. Good. Come on, again. Oh, come on. Let's pull it up with it. Good. Oh, yeah, put it down. Put it next one. Relax, relax. You don't have to make a sound like you're doing all the work. You're like, what? I got it. Oh, you're fucking sound like that? That wasn't I think you were scared I was going to jump on myself. I think you probably got scared for his friend. <laughs> oh, you I think um, you're a good friend, Paul. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Sam needs cool. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it. Get up high with it. Lift your shoulder higher. Straight up. Above your head. Above your head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, shoulders done. Fully pumped. This workout was pretty easy for me in the sense that I didn't have to think about what we were doing. I was just following the leader. <laughs> so let's, uh, based on how it feels, it should be pretty freaky. I don't know if I'll even get to be able to get the shirt off. It's like drenched. I get, well, getting it off's easy, but putting a wet shirt back on. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta bring an extra shirt, man. It's a rookie move. Yeah. Oh yeah, this tank is drenched. Look at the fucking it's a bit of delta shoulder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Have your shoulders ever looked like that? Oh, when they popped. I don't think I've seen them like that. I'm a, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, this is with a front delt pop too. Yeah. See? I've never seen your fucking shoulders look like that. Oh, yeah, the perfect side lighting, too. It's gotta be the workout. Look at the oh, fucking striations of your yeah. shoulders, dude. This is your bulk? Yeah, so it'll only get cooler from here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the shoulders will get pretty, like you can kind of see it. Yeah, the striations. And they'll get yeah. a little freakier. Yeah, I'm you sure. Think? Oh, shit. As the. That's the back left. Rear delts look good. Yeah, you're good to yeah, belt. They should, they should be fucking out pretty well. Oh, that last spread's getting better. Yeah. yeah. The last spread's getting better, man. I can see the separation out between your yeah. ROMs and your and your staff and your and your lat. And you know how to open your lats. Open it again and hold it. Open it again and hold it. You gotta practice that endurance. Drop the shoulders. Yes. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Right there. I like that. I mean, I could sit here for a while. That's what you gotta yeah. do. 
Look at that, clock into that. Yeah, quality. Yeah, good for you, Matt. So let's see, the, uh, what are you thinking? The shoulders overpowering the arms? No. No, but if you want to be perfect, I would start really doubling up on those triceps. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I've been thinking. Yeah. Long head especially, because yeah, the long head's gonna give you that beef. Yeah, I want it to hang down. Yeah. Because one of the things that I always suffered from was the smaller long, smaller long head of the triceps. So whenever I did a front double, I would lose my arm. Yeah. Let's see but when I did a, but when I did a side. Like, what was the one? want to see his front doubles. Yeah, 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 yeah. keep going. It's not bad by any means. Yeah. I'm just saying if we're talking, for being nitpicky, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Like this is good. Like this is good yeah, for you, yeah. right? But long attachments. Right? But if his shoulders keep growing, <laughs> so yeah. he's got to keep keep up. Yeah, exactly. Because his shoulders are getting like crazy. Unless he's got long attachments, so you can see what when they fill all on the own, it's sort of impressive. With a tricep pump, usually when I do arms, I'm gonna check the pump until it buys. So tries are already kind of deflated. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one day. Like after the time we did back, yeah, do those underhanded rows. Yeah, my biceps are still sore. Yeah, yeah skip them. So when I checked the pump with just triceps, like you were saying, they just poked out like extra wide. Mm -hmm. Lift yeah. your chest up. You do that. Drop the shoulders. Yeah, there, 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 there. See, I like to see. Yeah, exactly. Right. With it's definitely noticeable with the pump. So look, I'll, I'll tell you this. that they're not lacking by any means. Yeah. But like one of the things Luke, I, you probably don't know Luke, but Luke passed a few years ago. Yeah. Some Crazy of the best arms, us. some of the best arms in the IFBB. And it was because when he did that front lat, where he did that front double, yeah. like when he did this, you would see like his shoulder, then his fucking tricep, yeah. right? And it just looked like it was mind blowing. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't be looking at the lats. You'd just be looking at these massive fucking triceps. Oh, yeah. Same thing when he did his front double. He had a, he had a great vacuum. But then he had these like low sweeping fucking triceps and it made his arm look yeah. like this big. That's, so it's like, it's not about them lagging, but it, when you make them a strong point, it just changes everything. Okay. So yeah, it's almost like a fishing touch. It's uh, just a, it's so just nice. the illusion you get from triceps changes everything. It makes your waist like, look at Rami, look at Rami, perfect example, right? Yeah, I lost triceps. So when you have, this is gonna sound weird, but when you have big arms, it actually makes your waist look smaller. Yeah. Illusion wise, mm -hmm. right? So one of the things that happened to Rami, is when he started to lose his triceps a little bit, his waist started to look a little bit wider. Now, I don't know if his waist actually got wider, if it was just an illusion oh, yeah. of losing the tricep. But just either way, the appearance. Right. But the appearance of like big triceps changes every pose, man. So, but yeah, no, everything's there, man. Everything's there. Like if you got on a, if you got on a stage right now, yeah, you could win like a level one show. Yeah, I'll imagine. Yeah, yeah. sure. I would say. In body, I don't know about classic, but definitely in bodybuilding. Well, I can see your legs up. Those are how to hold, hold your legs up. There's some beef in there. Yeah. I don't think you want to show them without a pocket. Okay. okay, fair enough. Uh, well, I was going to say, I don't want to show them with my pink briefs on. <laughs> <laughs> my purple yeah. briefs on. But from the waist up, I agree with you. You can wait a Well, no, but I've seen his leg videos. I've seen his leg videos. They're third even. Yeah, they're match. They could be a little bigger because yeah. he's a little bit taller, but they're, right. not, they're not like way behind where you're like, oh, no. That's the thing when you're afraid to when it is fully filled up. It's that much more impressive than a shorter guy. Well, this is like Sanson, right? You get a guy, you get a guy who's 5'11 and filled out. You're like, holy fuck. It, it looks might different. Take, might take a little more time to fill up that frame, but what it does is. But it looks different than a guy who'd be 5'5, 5'4, 5'6. That there. compact look, because then, yeah, I, 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 I've got a compact frame, and there comes a point where you just can't put more muscle on. Jesus, you need 3X, dude. That's a, oh, I wear a 2X, it'd be more than a bit. I told him today, I'm like, dude, I think you need 3X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be more comfortable because he likes to shit oversized. Yeah. That's way too fucking tight. Paul, you can get in here if you want. Oh, I'm sitting in the background. No, come over here. Okay. The fuck are you staying away for? Well, you want me to sit in the background. Well, come over here. You look like a creeper. It's like you're just fucking yeah. anime. <laughs> Creeping <laughs> looking in the background. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that's uh, shoulders. Me, Paulie, and Sam, we fucking crushed it. I think we put Sam through a good workout. That's kind of all I wanted to do and make sure he got a pump. And uh, now we're gonna go home and fucking eat some Five Guys. I can see that. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, it's Sam's diet. So whatever Sam wants to eat today, I'm gonna follow the leader. But Sam, what do you think? How's the workout? I mean, I think the pump should pretty much speak for itself, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fact that half the workout I was sitting there just trying to find a good, comfortable way to sit with my shoulders without burning. That's pretty yeah. much a good sign. I don't think we did anything too different than what Sam normally does, but we added more volume, right? You think so? The fourth well, you don't really do... You well, there's a couple more feeders. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like we did more reps on our warm-up or feeder sets, whatever you want to call them. And then 
we probably did two or three working sets on each exercise. Yeah. That's about what you normally do? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but, and then we added some intensity techniques. Do you normally do those? I'll throw them in sometimes, yeah. but I never usually mess with the pyramids. Like, that was really starting to burn. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so we added in a few different things. I think some of it Sam could take back to his own training when he does it, and overall we're good. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, I had a good workout. All right, we're gonna get back and get eaten, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, you stood.